What's good, YouTube? I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be my sneaker haul that I promised you guys. And this is all my recent pickups. Um, I'm going to try to make it ASMR um, related. But if not, if it's too loud, I'm sorry. But I'm not whispering. So just want to, you know, switch it up a little thing. Y'all already know how, how I try to do this channel. But anyway, yes, today the concord is released and if you guys don't follow me on social media and follow me on my story and all that stuff go right there jay young eight follow me on instagram right now i don't know i might do a giveaway i don't know what i might do but let's i need to hit that 1k on instagram i'm trying to hit 10k on instagram so if you guys would help me with that that'd be super super bomb but on this channel we're trying to hit 30k so you know, like, comment, subscribe, and do all that. But today's video is like I just told you guys. It's it is a not a vlog. I wasn't gonna make it a vlog, but the story is, I was literally at work, and I was gonna come home. I was gonna get dressed, and I was gonna grab the camera, and I was gonna go out and record everything. But for some reasons, these stores only give you a certain amount of time to pick up your shoes. So if I would have did all that, by the time I would have got to the store, somebody probably would have just bought my shoes because I didn't, you know, get there on time. So basically when Jordans release, if y'all are not really into Jordans, since Jordans is like a big, like a, like a high risk release, release because everybody go crazy when St. Jordans release, they do tickets and they do raffles on an app. So you have to put in a raffle ticket to win not even when you have to 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 be able to purchase the shoe. So basically, they give that you win the the opportunity to purchase the shoe. So I won. I reserved two pair at my closest villa. They was doing uh, toy for tots, and I always do that every year, regardless of a shoe come out. I always donate toys to villa, even though they do it like you know you donate you donate a toy, you could get the chance to buy the shoe they reserve the shoe for it but i always donate toys for tots when they do it they do it every year so you just come in and drop off a toy that's worth over ten dollars so basically so i reserved two um pairs from them and i won one at champs and i won another one at Foot Locker. so if you can imagine i work out far <laughs> to have to drive back inside the city to try to pick up my pairs and so basically that's why i didn't vlog it i, I want to vlog it because it was a plenty mad people out there it was plenty mad people but i'm not gonna hold y'all up i'm gonna finish that story once we get to them shoes but right now let's get into you know the the the, the, the vlog the you know but before we get into it i know i need a haircut my barber, my barber is in Mexico right now, and there's no way I'm about to go to another barber. So, y'all just gonna have to have me looking like I'm 34 out here. Like, <laughs> so, hey, if if I'm looking ugly, I really apologize. But I get cleaned up one of these days, probably Tuesday. I hate, you know, getting my hair cut on a when I gotta go to, back to work. Like I like to do it when I'm off. So, probably Tuesday. But anyway. Let's get into the video of the haul. Let go. First, it is not sneaker related, but I actually went to Dick's Sporting Goods. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. So basically, what I got from here was, uh, what's this, a six pack? A six pack of Adidas socks in gray. Cause I don't really have gray socks. I either have black Nike socks, white Nike socks, or like real funky type socks, like with all different colors or graphic and stuff on there. I really don't have like gray socks, but I got the Adidas gray socks. Boom. And I picked up some pants because I really, for some reason, I really never had like Adidas, like 
sportswear. Like, I never really, like, I got Nike everything, maybe because I like Jordans and Nikes and stuff, but I end up getting, you know, some Adidas pants. These fit with, like, real tapered, so I guess it's kind of like a taper fit, and it's for football players, so they give it, like, that snug, skinny look, so I got this in black and black and white, so... You know, give y'all a little ASMR for the ASMR heads. I ain't forgot about you. I ain't forgot about you. But yes, I got that in black. And I also... Give y'all some more ASMR. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all ain't ready for that. But yeah, and I also got these in white. But Tyler also got her a pair also, so... We can be matchy matchy, but yeah, I also got the same pair. And why? And why? You know why? But yeah, got it in the white. So toss those over there. On to the next. So so the next pair is gonna be boots, and y'all already know what this box represents. So my size if people want to know my size i am a true eight and a half um no that is not true <laughs> no that is not true <laughs> but anyway yeah but i actually won these no no did i win i actually won one pair off champs the reserve app and um the other pair actually came from champs again but it was, they did like, like I told you, if you're not there, but by, by that time, they allowed to just sell your pair to anybody. So trust me, I was patiently waiting. I bought four pair of these and I sold two pair and I kept two pair. So yeah, I got, I bought four pair of these and you know, let me just show y'all the shoe. Boom. And a shoe is the, um, the I was about to say the taxis. But I was about to say the taxis. Um, the the zebras, the Adidas 350 zebras. These mugs are the bomb. So when these first, I remember when these first dropped. If y'all are not sneakerheads, when these first dropped, bro, these were so limited to get. And they was going for like fifteen hundred. Like this shoe was going for like fifteen hundred. I'm so I know the people who spent fifteen hundred dollars on the shoe is pissed right now because they restocked. They restocked them three times, so they redropped them, re-released them three times, and I was able to scoop up four pair. It was people that was walking out the mall with more, like 10 pair at a time. That's how many pair of, of these we had in the mall left. And I live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So you should imagine we had so many of these pairs left in every damn mall. It was crazy. I walked out with four. Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to talk about Tyler into getting a pair, but she's really not into like sneakers like that. Like the sneak, like Actually, go to her page and be like, Batala, we want to see your sneaker collection. See your thing. She have a, the most lowest sneaker collection I ever saw. She only like Harachis. Like, to get to her heart, buy her Harachis. Like, she don't like nothing. I didn't try to... When, when I, like, I'm so passionate to shoes. I like the dress. And she don't. She don't care. Like, she... But she's a girly girl. And I'm like, you know... I'm more into fashion. She more into like the girly girl stuff. So when I try to do like get some Yeezys, buy Jordans, dude, she like, I just want some Uggs. <laughs> buy me some Uggs. Give me some leg warmers. I don't know why she like leg warmers, but I'm I'm going off a tangent. But <laughs> but yeah, she she's into like girly girly stuff. So leg warmers and UGG boots and stuff like that. I'd be like, girl, you better get hit with the fashion with the fashion girl but yeah boom 
like I told you guys, it was I purchased two pair. Boom. So you guys don't think I was lying. I know you guys don't think I'm a liar, but you know, you just gotta prove people when you say things, but boom, this is my uh two pairs that I bought. I like I told you guys I actually bought four, but I got rid of two. Uh sold them on stock X and I kept two because you know, wanna rock run a stock and you know I'm gonna be rocking these with my Adidas pants and my Adidas socks, so <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be rocking stuff like this, like on a plane and all that stuff. Like, my birthday is in, and what? Going on what? Tomorrow will be the eighth, so tomorrow will make it a month into my birthday. So I don't know what I might do. Might go somewhere. Might not. You know. I mean, send me some birthday wishes, guys. <laughs> but yeah, my birthday is in a month, so I don't know what I might do. But yeah. This is the two pairs, and let's get into the next pickup. The next, 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 next pickup. Boom! This is my next pickup. This pickup was kind of eh, because I really wanted this shoe since I saw the pictures of the shoe. But, um, how can you explain it? This shoe is sitting in stores, and I feel like I could have got this shoe for way under retail later on because I'm not about to wear it right now. So spending two hundred dollars on a shoe where you could have just waited and spent probably a hundred dollars on a shoe. Sometimes it kinda you know, you do that. But I really wanted the shoe. I wasn't gonna wait. I was gonna spend the money regardless. So hey, might as well go ahead and get it over with, even though it might go for might go on sale later. And that Give y'all a little ASMR. Boom. It is the red Twitter. Boom. So, for the non-sneakerheads that watch my channel, this is a shoe that you, not, you do not double up on. This shoe... I really like this shoe, don't get me wrong, but the quality on this shoe is terrible. The craftsmanship on this shoe is terrible. Like, I got, like, I ain't even wear this shoe, and I, I got, like, stains on it already. Um, It's not, I'm not regretting that I bought this shoe. I'm regretting that I paid full price for this shoe. That's the only thing that I regret, um... Yeah, I really like the shoe. Um, like I told you, I, I picked this up, champs. I'm thinking it was going to be, every time a 12 come out, it kind of, is. it's not limited, but people seem to like their 12s. Go on YouTube and look up, you know, Jordan 12s, release, Jordan 11 release and stuff. Like, some shoes cause riots. And this shoe, sometimes when this shoe drop, a lot of people go crazy, especially an all red shoe. Not the not the brain, you know, you know, gangs involved and stuff, but come on, want an all red shoe drop. You'll be kidding yourself if you don't think a all red twelve a twelve is hyped up already and an all red twelve drop. If this would have dropped like I say three years ago, people probably would have got shot stabbed for the shoe like these jordans be crazy sometimes and it's, it'd be weird because they, they pick and choose what release like this release i thought it was gonna be crazy but you go in and get it but then you go in another store thinking like oh it ain't gonna be that bad and <laughs> people and their grandmas in there <laughs> i want the shoe i want the shoe so but anyway um it's not your normal red so if you look at my my red on my jacket and the red on my headband. It's kind of not the same red. It's kind of like a, 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 I don't know. 
it's like a it's their car rocket the the rocket like rocky red so i don't know it say gym red on here it say air jordan 12 gym red so yeah but it's so many different shades of red on here it's it's like a suede then it's like a leather then it's like like a uh i like the miso I, I don't know what, what the miso call like a polyurethane or something like that whatever people call it but yeah but then they got that shiny red that metallic red right there so there's so many shades of red they got red on a eye on the eyelids right here up there shiny red and they got the shiny red right there so yeah it's yeah pretty much there's a lot of reds in here it make the shoe pop and a light and stuff like that but it's way more darker if the because the camera you know not picking it up it's making it more brighter but than it is but yeah i really like this 12 i don't regret it at all at all but i just know i could have waited sometimes you don't have to be first this everybody should remember remind yourself that you do not have to be first all the time sometimes being first will mess you up in the long run so Hey, I should have just calmed down, waited. But the good thing is, I used a coupon on this, so it went from two hundred dollars to like one seventy or something like that. So I, I had a little discount that I used for Champ. So I, I didn't pay full price, but I knew I could have got a little more cheaper than what I bought for these. So, but other than that, that was um, my second. But I would say. My pants was the first. Wait, like Dick's Sporting Good was the first. And the Yeezys was the second. This was my third pickup. And let's get into my fourth pickup. Let go. Boom. This is, I said this is, <laughs> this is my fourth pickup. And by the box, y'all can tell it is a Jordan 4. And <laughs> this is another shoe I could have waited. <laughs> Not I couldn't wait for the store this shoot in stores, but online I could have waited. Y'all gonna see what I'm what I'm saying. But yeah, it is the Air Jordan 4. This actually is a woman a, a woman's shoe. Sometimes I can't talk with this girl in my mouth. This is a woman's shoe. It actually came in extended sizes. So I got a woman's 10, and that is a man's eight and a half. You guys can see that right there. The woman's 10, men's eight and a half. So it actually came out of women's. This is Jordan brand, you know, giving, you know, special things to women. I actually got this from Champs again. So let's go ahead and open it up. And boom, y'all can already see what it is. It is that type of shoe. So let me go ahead and get it out right now. So boom, the Air Jordan 4. I know you guys are saying like, dang, J like another red shoe but yes another red shoe but this shoe this shoe like y'all don't understand I told you guys my favorite Jordan silhouette is a four and sorry when it comes to fours I just can't pass them up even though if they're ugly well don't get me wrong it's some Jordan fours that I passed up that I wish it, that wasn't so ugly so I could have bought but they were so ugly like I know I like the Jordan 4s, but I'm not stupid for Jordan 4s, so, eh, it's a thin line between, you know, love and being stupid, so, <laughs> but, yeah, it actually is a Jordan 4, it's a red one, but the thing about this Jordan 4 is, it has a gum bottom, Jordan 4s really don't have a gum bottom like that, so, I really like that, I like that shiny midsole, that is super nice, but the good thing that people like about this shoe is I don't want to do it because somebody on YouTube actually did it and they messed up their pair. But when you start wearing the shoe over time, the the red start to fade and it has like a different print under it. So basically what I'm saying is if you look at this shoe, I know the camera is not going to pick it up, but if you look at this shoe, you can tell that it's kind of like sprayed with like a red paint. So over time, when you're wearing it, it's it it like the the paint will peel off, and a different print will will show up. So it's kind of like a 
like a you know a ornamental a ornamental am I saying that a ornamental print under it's kind of like like a Christmas print or whatever the case may be but it's like an ornamental print I don't know I, I'm saying it wrong I know I'm saying it wrong but if you look like if you really look at the shoe I know this camera ain't gonna pick it up but if you if you Google it or YouTube it and you look at this shoe like you can actually see the print like under the red and black so once you start wearing it over time over time you it probably rain and you know you probably scuff it against a door or something the paint appeal and it's gonna be another design under it so but this is the second pair of jordans that i have that actually does that i have a pair of 12s that does that and it's behind me and i don't want to look for it and pull it out but it is the wing 12s you can google it and youtube it and these are um these are the, yeah the woman's air jordan for nrg so google that the all red woman's 12 and you can see what i'm talking about but other than that i really like the shoe i, I like this shoe more than the 12s and the crazy thing is i bought this shoe before i bought the 12s so I could have been way more smarter and not bought the 12s and just said, hey, I got these. And I have so many all red shoes. It's crazy. You would think I'm in a gang, <laughs> the, the the amount of red shoes I got. But like I said, whatever whatever I like, whatever I like, I try to get. Sometimes I try to calm down on, on sneakers and stuff like that. And I do. I went, Batala never thought I can do it, but I think I went like the almost the whole summer and I literally just back up start buying shoes. Like I, I kind of slowed down for almost probably like a whole year. I was, I would say a whole year because I wasn't buying that many shoes. I probably buy a shoe once a month or something like that. But, but now I'm back on it. But I'm pretty, I'm not gonna be that involved because as you get older, you want to travel and not really spend your money on materialistic things. You want to spend your money on memories. So. And I already got a lot of tons. I got tons of shoes in the back of me. So if I keep my shoes, the only thing that's going to happen is my little brother's just going to come over here and keep begging and end up taking my crap. And I'm just going to be keep replacing. Like, oh, I'm buying a shoe. They come and take it. I buy a shoe. I come take it. So I might as well wear my crap, it's, you know, and not just have them sitting. But I know I'm talking to you guys' ears off. This is the Air Jordan 4 all red NRG. This was a woman's collab. Um, yeah, this was my one, two, three, my fourth pickup. Let's get on to the next. Have a lot more, so this video might be a little long. So let's go. Bear with me, guys. Let's go. Boom. My next <laughs> pickup is another Jordan. Size eight and a half, my size. I mean, size eight, my size eight. I mean, not eights, but fives actually run big. So obviously that's why I had to get an eight. And if you guys want to know how tall I am, probably I'm around like five nine. So in my feet, I wear a size eight and a half. So y'all know my, cause I know people might be like, oh, he got small feet. He probably like five two or something. Nah, like I'm up there. It's like I'm, I'm not tall at all. So I'm like five nine, but average yeah i wear eight and a half so balance everything got my feet ain't small i'm not that small but i'm not that big my feet ain't that big so hey but anyway yeah it is a air jordan and this was one of jordan's international pack that he came out with he came out with a few shoes that you know had to do with like an international pack and they did not sell <laughs> They did not sell. I actually bought this shoe off StockX, and I bought this shoe for, I think, $143. These shoes, and I bought this shoe, i say two days after it came out, off StockX for $143. And this shoe is was $190 with tax, will make it $263 in Wisconsin. So, yeah. You know, stock X car, all that stuff. International. With the international shoes, they, they have like paper, like wax paper. And on a wax paper, it's kind of like a Jordan like map. Like it's kind of like it got map. Like it got like continents and stuff on there. And, and it shows like a red Jordan bouncing. Basically, I guess like where, he, where he's been. So 
yeah so boom this is the jordan 5 international pack oh my god this shoe is so beautiful to me like i am about to probably go ahead and marry this shoe so i told you guys last thing i don't want to get a divorce and i'm telling you if i marry the shoe we're not getting a divorce <laughs> but yeah i really love these i don't know if it's the orange or what is it but you see that bottom that icy bottom i don't know what is it but it, i don't know if it's the cream on there but this shoe is beyond sexy i'm telling you i don't care flag it flag my video this shoe is sexy they need to put this shoe on playboys magazine because this shoe is hot baby mama <laughs> this shoe is really sexy so i really enjoy this shoe okay the only thing i really don't like about this shoe you know you can like something and have a dislike about something all my fives run big so i'd have been buying fives for years i put them on it's room they the, the shoe seems like it's a nine when it's an eight so i mean the shoe seems like it's a nine when, it, when it's an eight and a half so i get an eight and it, and it, it fits perfect and it normally have a little room left this shoe right here out of all the shoes i really love this shoe but for some reason this shoe is hella tight like and it's to the point where it's just like when i put it on like if you see this shoe right here when i put it on it's not that bad but sometimes I just, I feel like my toe is sticking out. Like you can just see, like you can just see the imprint of my toe sticking. Like I never wear this shoe. I tried this shoe on and it was so tight. I had to look at the size and like, is this an eight? But I don't know what, what they got the shape from or something. Like I, I, I bought them. I bought this shoe when I bought them Paris vibes around the same time. I bought this from Stock X. I bought Paris from, from Nike. They both came in around the same time that shoe like i told you is an eight and room like i'm telling you like all my fives are this one is just weird like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna have to take the insole out and just rock it normal but it's it's really not that bad but it's just me i just feel like my toe is sticking out like i'm just saying like i just feel like i'm gonna bump something and my toe just gonna just stick out i i don't know but <sighs> I don't know. I just feel. I just feel like my toe is just sticking out when it comes to this shoe. I might just take the insole out, see how how that be. But yeah, the international fives is one of my other my one my fifth. Yeah, I would, one, two, three, four. My fifth pickup, and it's one of my favorite pickups. I, I just can't wait to wear this. I'm. I got. I got to figure out what I'm gonna do. The stock X. You can't return shoes, so. And I know I'm not going to be able to sell it. Even if I do sell it for like 140 something, I would have to find somebody who wear the same size as me. And like, I don't, I, don't, I really hate selling shoes. It is a headache sometimes because people just, they give you the run around. So I might, I might just take the insole out and just wear them or just wear them normally. And, and it's only one foot. It's only like my right foot. It's not like my left foot. It's, it's good for my left foot. It's normal. But it's like, my right foot, I just feel like the toe is sticking out. Like, I don't know. But this is my fifth pickup, and it's the International Fives. Um, y'all really want this shoe, y'all could go get it, because I'm telling you, this is a sexy shoe. It's a set. This is a shoe that you don't double up on, but for some reason, I just want to. I just want to. I, I, I just feel like I just need two pairs of this shoe. Like, I know I'm not going to wear that much to even need two pairs, but I don't know. Y'all help me. Send me some uh some words of encouragement <laughs> to my DM. But anyways, we on to the next. This was the Jordan 5. So let's go to the next pickup. Um before we do, y'all go get y'all some to drink, get y'all some refreshments. I know this video is super long and I am sorry. I am totally sorry about that. But y'all want to see the pickups. So hey, give y'all the pickups. On to the next. Let go. Boom. And the next pickup is a Jordan 4. It is a Jordan 4. And, you know, eight and a half. I don't know why the back of my head is itching. 
but it is an eight and a half and i've been looking so ugly i'm telling you y'all forgive me because i am ugly I, but once I get my hair cut, I don't want y'all to be all in my DM like, Ooh, Jay, you fine. Ooh, Jay, you, you a masterpiece. God made you one of a kind. I don't want to hear none of that, okay? I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> but anyway, it is a Jordan 4. And, um, oh yeah. I almost forgot what it was. But let's go ahead and open it up. Let's get y'all a little bit of ASMR. Boom, <laughs> but here it go. And these are the Raptor fours, even though they're not, they kind of, the lace is kind of messed up. I tried them on, but they're, they have not been worn. Let me go ahead and get the other shoe out for you guys. Boom, this is the Jordan four Raptors. Um, I'm kind of mad, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened on my toe box right here. It seemed like it just got smudged, and it's just like, I don't know. I, even though, like, it's a new book, it's like a suede new book, but right there on the toe box, it like something spilled on it. That, that wasn't like that when I bought it. I know for a fact it wasn't like that when I bought it. Anyway, <laughs> it is the Raptor 4s. This shoe was a must. When I saw that these shoes were coming out, I really needed them, and I thought it was going to be super hard to get them because... If y'all into shoes, y'all know that Jordan brand was teamed up with Drake. And I have some of the Drake Jordans as well. And his name was on the shoe. And everybody know when the OVO Jordan dropped? It is crazy. I have never bought an OVO for retail. All my OVO, the OVO 10s and the OVO 12s, I spent money on them shoes. I've never won an OVO. So when this shoe came out, I'm like... I would beat myself up. Like, I really need this shoe, but I know it's going to be crazy. And it had, like, Drake. It had, like, a set of Jordan right here. It had, like, Drake under there. It supposed to have been, like, the OVO owl on the thing. Like, it was supposed to be a Drake shoe. But Drake ended up going through, like, I guess he supposed to sign another deal. And he was about to go sign with Adidas. So they end up dropping the shoe without Drake's involvement. And that's... That sent everybody into a frenzy, and when they dropped it without without OBO, Brandon, nobody really purchased it. <laughs> Me and Vitala was at the mall, I, I would think at 8, well, well, um, well 7, or 7. The mall didn't open up until like 10. We was there early because we thought it was going to be crazy. Nobody was there. Just because Drake name wasn't on this shoe, because of the Raptors, you know, Raptors from Canada, Drake from Canada. So they was going to do that. They was going to do, had Drake name on this and the Travis Scott's. I actually have the Travis Scott's. I showed you guys the Travis Scott's. I had the Travis Scott's. The Travis Scott's is all, the all blue with the red. And this was the black and purple with the with the same red. And it was supposed to be Drake. And it didn't happen like that. And everybody did not show up. <laughs> like, we was, I just grabbed my shoe and just left. Like, it, <laughs> it wasn't even that serious, bro. Like, it came down to a point, I'm like, but Tyler, you better grab a pair of shoes. Like, no, like, I don't know what's wrong with that kid, <laughs> but she really don't like shoes, like sneakers like that, but yeah, I really like this shoe right here, I don't care, I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna swag it out, I'm probably gonna get like a, a, a old Raptors jersey, you know, and not do it too normal, but just kind of swag it out with the colors and stuff like that. Kind of be laid back, but flashy at the same time. Sometimes, you know, you gotta have them fits that pop. But then you got to have like the mediocre fits where it's just like, you know, you ain't doing too much, but you know people see you. I know you see me, but I ain't doing too much, but I know you see me. But then you got to have like them sweat fits like me. I'm actually wearing like tech tech pants, you know, jogging tech pants right here. You know, it's, they ain't doing too much, but, you know, people see me if I'm going out to the store, you know. You always got to be fresh. Don't get caught slipping not being fresh. That should be my logo. Don't get caught slipping, not being fresh, because people going to remember you when you're ugly. So, 
and I'm actually making YouTube videos while I'm ugly. So, but yeah, let me go ahead and speed this up because I know it's kind of long, but yeah, boom. The Raptor Fours, let's get into the next pickup. Boom! So these is the pickups from today. And if you guys can tell, it is four pair that I purchased. Four pairs. So how am I about to do this? Let's put all this crap down and just do one shoe. Alright, so alright, give me a minute. These are, you know. Eight and a half, you already know, Air Jordan, Air Jordan 11 Retro. They went, this is crazy, they went with the old school Nike box. But the price was 220 after tax was 230 was 233 after tax for each pair, for each pair. And y'all gave us this old ASS box. Normally we have pull out. I don't know why every time I'm looking for a shoe, it's always at the bottom. This is the box I need, mean, and it's all at the bottom. Like I'm, I'll be trying to show y'all guys, trying to make a point, but this crap's always at the bottom, and I'm not about to get up and just do that. But yeah, it's it actually like if y'all already know, it's a Nike, it's a Jordan 11 box that pull out with the thing. It, it got so much stuff in it, and you know, boom. But for this release, they gave us the old ASS box, but. And it's the same box that the 10s come in and the 8s come in. Like this, everybody, every shoe been coming in the same box. But if we're going to be paying that price, give us a different box, bro. Like y'all paying, Jordan's going up. It used to be 160, 175, 180, 190 now. And they used to be 200. Some Jordan is 200. Now it's 220 for 11s and crap. Like then it's two, after taxes, make it 233. Like, and that's for each pair. So I bought four pairs. So do the math. <laughs> but I'm not mad though. Nobody put a gun in my head and told me to do it. But <sighs> bruh, I have never had the concourse ever, ever. When I was, when this shoe came out in 2011, I think I was a sophomore in high school. And I'm telling you right now, I wasn't into sneakers like that. I was more of a, a shelf sitter sneaker cover. Whatever was on that shelf in Nike, at, at Champs or Foot Locker, that's what I was copying. I wasn't like, oh, when these shoes come out? It was ever on that stuff. If I liked it, like, oh, I want these. And back then, I used to wear a lot of Vans, believe it or not. A lot of Air Force Ones and Vans. I didn't really get into Jordans. But I don't really got into the Jordans because I really couldn't afford Jordans. I was more of like staying your realm. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. You know what I mean? I wasn't like them people who bought fakes. So, like, I, me personally, I just bought what was in my realm. So, I bought, like, you know vans and all that stuff a lot of people was buying fakes just to fit in me personally i was just buying air force ones i was really into air force ones and vans back then and levi shoes if y'all remember the levi shoes but anyways this is 2011 i'm i'm acting like it was years of, <laughs> i'm acting like i'm super old in the back in my day <laughs> but <sighs> i remember it went people went so crazy for this shoe man so crazy for this shoe. 45 on the back. Oh my gosh. Look at that purple. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just want to cry. <laughs> so boom. This is the Air Jordan 11 that dropped to the drop today this is the concord and when i tell you this is a grail for a lot of people a lot of people grew up with this sneaker this sneaker to give y'all some back history um the sneaker actually dropped multiple times before this sneaker dropped in 1995 the year i was born 1995 this actually dropped again in 2001 and it dropped again i, I would say in 2011 the other one that dropped in like 2009 ish or eight ish was a countdown pack and that was just like this but with gold hint so 
you can say it's really not a Concord, but it was a countdown pack Concord. So basically, what this shoe is what started the riots. <laughs> Go on YouTube and type in 2000 Get Money Boys. Just type in Get Money Boys. That's it. And just click on the first video that pop up. Get Money Boys. That video is hilarious. But it was riots. And people got shot. People. I remember being after school. And this was around like December or something. And I remember people were just saying how this shoe was crazy. And, and I remember 2011. I, I really didn't see people with this shoe. Like even though like. It dropped in school. I rarely seen people with that shoe. So you, so you know it was kind of hectic to get. So you know, and I went to Tulsa. Well, if y'all in the West Coast, I went to Tulsa West. So y'all know it was probably hard when kid, even kids didn't get it. Normally when a Jordan dropped, I bet tomorrow when y'all go to school, y'all going to see a lot of kids with this shoe because it's a lot of pairs. But when normally when a Jordan dropped, kids have it. You the High schoolers, everybody have it. I didn't, 2011, I didn't see nobody rocking these. I barely seen people my age rocking these. So, you know, it was crazy. And people were stabbing people. People was killing people. This was this was when Jordan stopped doing midnight releases. Believe it or not, Jordan used to do midnight releases. So, you literally had to be sitting at the mall midnight trying to get your shoes and all. So, before the camera died... I don't know what I was even talking about because the camera died and it took at least 15 to 20 more minutes to get everything back and running. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of end this video. But yeah, this shoe is really, really iconic. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got it. Like just growing up, I really wanted the shoe. Never had the chance to get this shoe. But now... That I got multiple, just, just, just multiple pairs. I just, oh, let me try to see if I can put all of them on here. Now that I got multiple pairs, well, I couldn't put all of them on here, but now I got multiple pairs. I got four pairs. I am not selling a pair. Well, depending on the price, right? I might do a giveaway or something like that. But now that I got multiple pairs, I am happy. Happy is the the. I'm like a girl. I'm glad I got them. Um, I got four pairs. I can wear them. I can beat them up. If I got another pair, I can wear. I can beat it up. I got another pair. You know what I mean? Like so. This is a shoe that I always wanted. Finally got it. This is one of my top sneakers. So this and the Jordan 4, Cement 4, got to be one of my top sneakers of all time. But anyway, this video is long already. I was going to talk more detail, but the camera cut off and I don't want it to kind of cut off again while I'm in the middle of talking. So this has been my sneaker haul with a little bit of clothes. Um, all of these, I know I got to say this and I know y'all tired of me saying this but all the asmr people i have not forgotten about you guys new asmr videos is tomorrow that other video was posted i had a video that was supposed to post yesterday but for some reason it didn't post and it said it was like a copyright thing so i didn't post it so i have to redo it i don't know why it said it was copywritten or something but i, I don't know but i hope this they don't find no copy burning stuff in here so but anyway yeah but be waiting out to the video tomorrow more asmr more sneaker hauls more role plays is on the way y'all follow me on uh on my social medias on instagram if y'all want to see my stories what we doing around the house whatever we get into pictures and stuff like that and um get, i'm trying to get the channel to 30k y'all like comment subscribe more videos on the way follow me on all social medias again and other than that that has been my sneaker haul and thanks youngin for the supports and other than that we gone peace